how would you describe their society or their way of living on a daily basis? Well, as I said, Bashar society operates really on pure synchronicity. Everyone is doing whatever it is that uh, they're passionate about doing. Um, <clears throat> if somebody needs something, there's always somebody right there that can give it to them or they can <clears throat> give to others what others need at that moment, again, based on the synchronicity. Uh, they explore uh, different you know, realities, they explore space. Uh, they, Bashar himself is actually a first contact specialist. So he's one of the people in his society that actually makes first contact with different civilizations that might be ready to open up a dialogue with them and maybe ultimately join uh, their alliance, their interstellar alliance, and, and expand you know, their reality that way. So that's, that's one of the things that Bashar does. And to get, get a deeper understanding into their world, um, do, uh, since last 34 years you've been channeling Bashar, have you noticed any physical changes in him? Uh, has he grown? Well, there's been more physical changes in me <laughs> by having done the channeling. I mean, the thing that's interesting about channeling Bashar is because their minds are so multidimensional, because they're not as fixed in time, when someone is having a conversation with him, in one part of the conversation, they might be talking to a version of Bashar that is 50 years old. But in another part of the conversation, they might be talking to Bashar that's 150 years old. He can actually adjust his consciousness to go to whatever point in his life he needs to where he will have the information that they need. So his consciousness is constantly sliding up and down his timeline to give the people the information that they're asking from him. So he changes constantly in terms of the way his personality functions. But by having been exposed to that and immersed in that energy for so long, I find that there are definitely a lot of changes that have happened within me, both physically, emotionally, mentally. I get to see how they see reality. I get to experience the feeling of the state of being that they're in, and they have a profoundly different state than we do. Um, they have no doubt about anything. They have 100% conviction about what it is they believe or know to be true about how reality works. They can actually see the structure of existence. So a lot of the information they're sharing with us, <clears throat> it's not just a good sounding philosophy. It is actually a description of the structure of existence. They're really giving us an instruction manual for how reality works so that we can improve our lives in much the same way that they live their lives. So I'd say the greatest changes have been more on my side than on his side. And uh, also to get more <coughs> insights into their world, uh, are, are there, do they have genders and are there like different gender roles? They do. I mean, they are genetically related to us. Uh, being a hybrid race and so they did start out with the typical male and female genders uh, they have evolved to the point where that's not quite so defined anymore uh, they don't eat anymore they don't sleep anymore um, they're becoming less and less physical in a sense they call themselves quasi physical beings they're almost halfway between physical material beings and spirit so that's why they can exhibit many of the traits that we assign to what we believe spirits can do is because they're not really anchored in physical reality as strongly as we are. They're not quite in the spirit world. They're kind of a combination of the two. Um, but we would generally recognize that they have gender. Um, and uh, the males, as they've described, that are, well, they're, they're all about five feet tall on average. <clears throat> Their skin is relatively pale. Uh, they have larger eyes than we do. The males tend to have no hair. The females have hair. It's usually white, though there are exceptions. So they're very slender, kind of almost ethereal looking uh, beings, um, but they still do have a physicality that we can perceive.